So, we are back in the engine room. And we need to carry on with the woodwork on this side. Now yesterday, Simon came down and because we'd ran out of epoxy for laminating, we actually steam bent these two pieces. So they're ready to get replaced. And we've got a web frame down here that we've laminated. You'd definitely reject that, wouldn't you? If you bought it. It's a bit wonky, but it's meant to be, so that's good. So I'll give both of these now to Gemma, but what we need to do really is ID which one's which and they should have some numbers on them, so let's try and find some numbers. Trying to get it off without damaging the nails. <laughs> right, so we need to find some numbers on these, so they're usually on the, on the, where they connect to the web I think, so let's get the grinder out, we'll have a quick look. It says one and a eight P. Is that eight? Yeah. Eighteen P? Yeah. So that's the back one? Yes. So that one should be seventeen P. Okay.
this is the one we laminated and we I painted this the other day, so cleaned it all up, painted it, so this one's ready to go. The ones by the exhaust I've just been working on, they're not quite dry yet, so I'm gonna switch to this one because this one's dry. Alright, so we've already done the scarf. Um so technically what we need to do now is draw a line on the new web frame um and then we can cut it. Hopefully the black on white will work out very beautiful. The lights died on the camera. So you can see where it's been laminated in pieces and it's nice to see there's no no gaps. Why are you trying to destroy that one? Try and bend it. Bend it. Break <laughs> it. I didn't do a bad job of that for my first time of laminating, did I? Very good. Rice is going to break first. <laughs> okay, so the wood failed before the actual epoxy joints did. So there's there's a line and there's a line and yeah, it's split good. actually on the wood, not the joints. And I wasn't being soft with it over, and I was using my. Your big hammer. It's 48. What's 48 mean? Is that like 14 pounds or something? They're usually in pound, aren't they? Right cool, so I'm going to say then the laminating of the wood is strong. Yeah, she fits quite well. Right. Go on. Try and, what do you call it? Get as much glue out the um, out the can as we've got. So while Simon's been working downstairs, I've been doing the knees. So they're just drying now. They've had a couple of coats of zinc and then I'll give them the coat of black ready for them to be fitted. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Put an F on that. Fur. On four front. <laughs> Forward. Fur. And. and well, we know it's up because the scarf's at the bottom. They used to be blondes. <laughs> Don't insult the blondes. What? So this web frame is the pain in the bum one because it is right behind the exhaust. So we need to do the clamping up to be able to draw the scarf on it, but we can't get a clamp there because of the exhaust. So we're going to put a piece of wood through it, clamp it up, and then be able to do it. So yeah, uh, watch the struggle. Okay, you saw. Sort of Hold there, I'll just put a pump in this one. I'm good at you. Stay. 
I just check the pieces are lined up before we go tight. Yeah, it's good. Consoles are lined up with the stringer. Yeah. Go on, let's get one. I can't. I think it's cold or anything else. I can wind mine. Oh, I know that. So, cutting these scarf joints. Um, well, cutting anything with the circular saw lately has been a pain in the butt. But, we've had some deliveries. I love that. That, that just fell out the package because then packages are a bugger to open. <laughs> So, I think there, you're gonna kill me with it. there's a new blade there, and this was sent to us by a mystery person because there's no news. So, that is the trend blade. So, whoever bought us this, thank you ever so much. And we also have a devolt blade. Whoa. Um, and this is from uh, Robert Lee. So, thank you so much, Robert, for the blade. So you can work out which one you like the best and which well, does the best job. Yeah, we'll get our money's worth out of this one. And then, um, and well. then we've got a backup. Cool. We should have took this off when we were changing yeah. the blades. Like a hot butter through knife. Yeah. No? Hot butter yeah. through knife? A yeah. hot knife That's through a... butter? <laughs> so when you get some hot butter and you throw it in knife. <laughs> it's good. Sometimes I just it just my brain's not fast enough to process what comes out my mouth. <laughs> The absolutely awesome guys from West System have sent us some epoxy, which was very well needed as we had ran out yesterday. And we've also got some new pumps. This is what I love about West is that you don't have to think about your, your mixture. It's just one pump of that and one pump of that and these little pumps work it out for you. Definitely put enough glue on it. Um, by hand. Yeah, that one is gonna have to get done by hand. You just can't get the um, what you call it. You can't get the impact in there. So while Simon's doing that, it's gonna pre-wet the scarf joints. Oh, he got the base smallest screwdriver ever. Yeah, it's Done. <laughs> bit of bright light coming through, bit of sunshine. Time for the web frames. Forward web frame, please, dear. One with the foot on. For the front. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get some glue in there. There's a child lock on that. OK, 
try not to know. Guess we'll have too much. You happy? Yeah. Clean that and put more. Yes, in. I wanted to use because when it sucks back in, when the wood absorbs it. You want to leave the use? Yeah, always leave the use. Okay. It's like it will go. Right. right. So what I recommend is you put the one in now, yeah. and then we'll start because we've got to clamp it. I'll go this way. Alright, uh, gloop. Tell the camera what I've done wrong, Gem. Come on. Do you know what, babe? Everyone makes mistakes. It's just a shame you've made it on one that spent hours steaming and fitting and stuff like that. But chip happens, doesn't it? <laughs> so bring the camera over and we'll. Well, do you want to explain what you've done? Yeah. Come on then. Let me just clean the right. epoxy off this because. Okay. Take me from save the glue <laughs> and put it in a rubber glove. Get off my boat. Okay, so what we did, we steamed it, we clamped it up, we left it a few days, we painted it, then we come back to it, then we've cut the scarfs. What you do is what what I do is cut the scarf, make sure the scarf lines up. In case you mess that up, then you've still got a bit of extra on the top. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, man. So, how I did it, I lined it all up here, we clamped it up, we got it, we got it lined up here, and then I marked the top. But that's wrong because it needs to go. Gotta go all the way up there. So, obviously, because I'm trying to hold it, my head's wrapped around the exhaust and marking it and stuff, I've marked the wrong place. So, get the glue on. And it's too short. So <laughs> that was <laughs> that was the last the piece, last piece to do on the port side of the engine room. Mm. So we were quite looking forward to having all the engine room done today. The um, port side of the engine room, yeah. But do you know what? That's life, and uh, it's just it is what it is. I'm not bothered. No, are you bothered? No. You normally are. I'm a bit gutted, like <laughs> I said, because I did want to get it. I was like, yes, yeah, last piece, but. It just goes to show that, you know, everyone makes mistakes. No, yeah. no one's perfect. I'm not bothered. Well, that's how we learn, isn't it? Yeah. So... I don't think I've never done that before. And never, you won't do it again, hopefully. Again, if you do so. it again next time, I will shout at you. Mm. So, it looks Are like... you the boss? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but we'll be doing lots of steaming on the other side, so... We'll do that when we do yeah, that. Come back to it. But we may as well get the neon, the yeah. one that we can do. Yeah. Just would be nice to go, yay, port side's done, but yeah. yeah you look disappointed in me. No, I'm not. You're disappointed in me. Of course. You are. <laughs> no, you because are. You are. I'm not, because uh, we're not perfect. Do, Everyone do makes make mistakes. Mistake? Yeah, loads of mistakes, yeah. As luck would have it, I've actually got a little window here that I can put my hand through and get a kit to it, so... He says. So 
but now it's produced a bit of a as we know it's all squished together quite nice. So the reason why we steam bent them web frames was because we had ran out of epoxy. <laughs> We've got loads of epoxy now, so the one that we've just made the error on, we are going to laminate up a new one. So we've got three pieces here. So let's get them out and cut them to a rough size. Dun dun dun! To the gluing bench. Have we got one of them? Yeah, we do. This is my gluing bench. <laughs> so there we go that one is now laminated into position mm. that is the last piece of woodwork on the mm. port side so when we come back next time we can take that off sand it up and get it fitted and move over yeah to the worst area in the engine room i think is there more space on that side there is more space on that side yes. so that's good and we're closer to the door to get to the yeah. workshop as yeah. well so we haven't got to like, keep... like less travel time <laughs> <laughs> yeah less commute yeah. um did you think we were going to get the port side done as quick as we had Ooh. i didn't no so no. Uh, don't expect the starboard side to go as fast no but we've figured out techniques and we and we're a lot, more, lot more laminating yeah know? yeah definitely so yeah. a lot more a lot more west system will be used <laughs> yeah well we've got plenty now haven't we so yeah because the thing is sort of the amount of time it takes to steam and stuff like that and i actually think a laminated piece is stronger, stronger. Than, than because we've actually noticed with them they've actually tried to straighten themselves out a bit haven't they the steamed one so yeah I don't think a laminated one will ever try and change shape. Mm. Yeah. So there we go. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Um, thank you all to everyone who supports mm. our project, all our patrons yeah. and coffee members and yeah. our one-off donations. Yeah. Uh, it all is made possible with you yeah. guys. So and also keep an eye out midweek. We might be having a couple more videos in the in the middle in the midweek. We're gonna do a lot more fun things yeah. this year. Yeah. Um. So make sure you've got the notification bell on, and yeah. we will be dropping some. Random, random midweek videos, videos yeah. um, and we're going to have a lot more fun on the water this year Ooh. Okay. right see cool. you all next week bye guys bye for now yeah. bye, 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 bye. thank you all so much for watching please consider subscribing if you haven't done already as it really helps the channel out see you all next week